Hey everyone, Black Oak SO here again with episode 2 of Billy Bob Trucking. Oh, yeah. Uh, episode 2 of ETS 2. Um, basically, me doing a playthrough. Yeah, playthrough with a twist because this game really has no end point or set storyline. You just play it as you want. So. Uh, what did I do last episode? Last episode we did the tutorial, mission, uh, task, job, whatever you want to call it, and we delivered some tractors. Uh, I currently stand Billy Bob Trucking, currently has 8,595 euros to its name. Oh yeah. So, let's go on with the job. Um, and let's play Santa, why not, in Escania. Yeah. So I earned some nice money for that. 7,000 euros for delivering that. That'd be nice. Some Christmas gifts. Let's play Santa. Take job. I have a new mail message. But you can't read it from in the truck. Let's have a look at the uh, cargo. It's a very, very Christmassy cargo. Yeah. Uh, come on, guys, hands go in the truck. Actually, can you see that any better if I zoom in? Go for it. Warm, warm. Anyway, I should stop messing about and get on with this job. So, here we go. What, am I, what size engine am I driving in this thing? This is a uh, uh, 380 brake. Okay. One thing I forgot to do in the last episode, and I did mention about it, I suggest you do it as well, is uh, automatic retarder. Turn it on. Helps with your braking, no end. Okay. It just helps uh, yeah, control the speed of your truck, helps the braking, shorts the braking distance down and so on. So yeah, just turn it on if you can, if you haven't already. You'll be surprised how much easier it makes it to stop these things, especially when they're fully laden like this is. This is, what, 22 tons, did I say? Yeah, 22 tons. So there we go. So what did you think of the last episode? Um, I'm hoping it went well. Little secret. I've recorded this one straight after. So I don't know if it's gone down very well on YouTube yet. Possibly no one's watched it. I don't know. Do not know yet. Will not know for a little couple of days, possibly. Uh, I've got to still got to edit it and put it up. But this is kind of my plan, possibly, when I do this, is to record a couple of episodes back to back, and then I can just release them when I feel, see fit and ready to release them. So, yes. Ah, uh, in Ascania. Much nicer interior. Need to adjust my seat though again. It's annoying how it doesn't. Even... Well, it's not so bad when you own a truck, but it's just annoying how in this early stages you have to change that setting in every truck. Why you can't just memorize it and go, right, this is your setting, this is where you want to have the seat. I mean, part of me can kind of see why. You know, because every truck's laid out slightly different. But it's still, uh, I'd like if it to just memorise, roughly, and then just go, this is what we think you might like. Do you? And then give you the option. That'd be nice. But yeah. Uh, so yeah. Uh, as you can guess, because I'm delivering Christmas goodies, this is the Christmas DLC that... Um, SES released. I'm actually recording this on December 28th slash 29th. Yeah, it's past Christmas, so these Christmas gifts are late. These these are uh, next year's Christmas gifts. Yeah, the, the people are going out in the sales and buying their gifts for next year already. Being productive and planning ahead. That's what people are doing. A secret. Shh. But anyway, <laughs> so yeah, let's get these gifts delivered to the shop or 
Oh, I guess it's some sort of depot it's going to. Does it, what does it say? Transinet. It's going to like some sort of courier, I believe. Um, I'm tempted to add some um, mods to this. Um, not necessarily map or truck mods, but perhaps, um, you know, the, the genuine company mods, things like that. Um, might add Jazzy Cat. So it gets more interesting trailers. Um, because one thing you'll learn very quickly, the trailers become much of a muchness and all look the same in this game when you're playing completely stock, um, as terms some gamers use, vanilla version of the game. You'll notice everything looks the same, you keep seeing the same trailers. I mean, SES are doing a good job of adding more and more trailers over time, but it still doesn't stop the really bit of repetitiveness that happens. Because at the end of the day, you're going to be driving hundreds, if not thousands, of jobs. You're going to pretty much see all the trailers at least once, if not a few times. So, yeah. So, we are driving through somewhere. A lovely bit of countryside. It really is. And a really nice piece of countryside. Well, I would say nice piece of countryside, but there's this big, massive railing that stops me from actually seeing the aforementioned countryside, which is um, annoying. Why they put that there? Makes no sense. Let me look at the countryside as I drive to somewhere in Germany. Oh, okay, here we come a bit quick. Let's change lane. i tell you what I've seen tonight. Did anyone see the uh, Top Gear special? Christmas special part two in Argentina? Oof. That got a bit nasty. Very nasty, very quickly. Now, whether you believe the whole story about, um, about the, the license plate and all that stuff is up to you. Uh, whether it's a complete and utter coincidence. Admittedly, when I first heard the news story and seen the license plate, it took me a second to figure out what, because all I heard was an offensive license plate. I looked at it, it didn't click straight away. It went until someone mentioned Falklands War 1982. That's when it clicked, and I was like, oh dear, that's, that's a bit bad. Um, so I can kind of believe that, yes, it was an honest mistake, but still... I don't know. It, it doesn't look good. But then again, the reaction of certain Argentinian people uh, didn't look good either. The, the people who were basically hooligans and attacked the crew. So, yeah, it, it, the whole situation's a bit sketchy in my mind. But. It's Top Gear. They've always been controversial in Top Gear. Always have. Always will be. Would we like the show less if they weren't controversial? Possibly. Um, it's kind of what we've come to expect of it in a weird way. I mean, that's one of the problems with... One of the reasons why I, like, I kind of like Top Gear US, but I don't, is Top Gear US try and play too safe sometimes and try not to offend anyone um, but it, it just doesn't quite work sometimes in my eyes in my opinion so yeah but no it's just I couldn't believe it how no one got seriously injured I really don't know I mean the cars got absolutely trashed uh, support vehicles got trashed. Um, even down to the two CV that was on a trailer, but those things was trashed. It's crazy, absolutely crazy. And yeah, you know, there was agreement that they were to get out of the country by a set time, uh, which they said, you know, it's going to take longer than that. Please give us a time. No, no, you must be out by this time. There is a mob on the way, kind of thing. They did their best to get out, and they were basically following the agreement of getting out of the country, and yet they were still attacked. It is just outrageous and ridiculous and stupid. 
really is. Now I might cause controversy in my comments for that one, but oh well, it's my opinion. My personal opinion. It just it was a bit of an overreaction for some of it. Person, I think. And I need to get out of this lane, and there we go. And if I received damage to my trailer, yes, I have because I got trolled by a car. So, what I'm going to do, just because I got trolled by AI, then this is a little trick you can do when you're in early levels and you're worried about too much about damage and stuff. Rely on auto saves. Auto saves will save you a lot of the time. It's really bad at me. Yeah, I shouldn't have done that. I should have been honest. Uh, just get going and accept the punishment of having a damaged trailer, but I was trolled by AI. But it appears that my police is turned off. Which is interesting. Which means I can actually speak through the cameras. Because I didn't get fined for that then. Which is quite shocking. Hmm, interesting as well. Obviously it's done across the entire game, not on a profile by profile basis, which is interesting. I have to look into that. I thought it was on a profile by profile, but yeah. So we're not too far from finishing this job. It's time to come towards the evening, so I'll just put the side lights on. I'm gonna put full beams on it, put full lights on it. I need to that yet, just put the side lights on so you can see a bit better. So we were more visible to the AI, you know, they don't seem to take any notice whatsoever who you are or where you are or whatever. That one seems to have backed off though, which is nice. Shocking, an AI that actually backed off. Bloody hell. Rarity. Come on, truck. I'm so close to turn our speed limiter. Do you know what? I'm doing it. I'm turning our speed limiter. It's up to you whether you do this. I'm going to do it. Just because. It, uh, yeah. It's going to feel so freeing to be able to go faster than 90 kilometers per hour. But I'm going to be tossed to be doing some long journeys in these videos. And I want to minimize editing, so therefore I need to make do the video, the drive, as quickly as possible. And doing the whole journey 90 kilometers per hour may not work into my favor. If you get what I mean. Ooh. Oh, shit. It's a bit of a, a bit of swerving then. Whoops. I apologise for my swearing then. Here we go. And change lane. Hopefully I get trolled by that AI. Now he backed off, which is nice. So here's proof that you don't need to always go for the most extreme engines in your trucks. This is a 380 brake horsepower Scania. Uh, 4x2 configuration, pulling 22 tons of trailer with no issues. So, you know, you don't always need it. Yes, there is situations where having the bigger engine will be more useful, but you don't need to. Don't worry about having the small engine trucks at the beginning. One other tip, which doesn't really matter at the moment, but it will matter later, is your AI uh, drivers. Don't worry about giving them the most expensive trucks in the world. It doesn't matter. They won't perform the jobs any quicker or any slower uh, if their truck is less powerful. You know, um, they'll just perform it in a set time no matter what. There, there's, yeah, you don't need to worry, basically. So you can save yourself a load of money by buying them crap trucks. One thing I usually use them for though is if I want to own multiple trucks myself 
and that trinked out in various different ways to what I like. And I want to choose between them and drive between them. I might let one of my AI, or I sometimes do is pass one of them off onto my AI. The one I'm currently not driving, give it to one of my AI. And drive them over the trucks. And then when I want to drive the one that an AI is driving, literally just do a swap. Then you haven't got trucks in idle, not making you any money. It's a good little tip that I learnt very soon, very quickly at the beginning. Well, no, actually, I'll say that. It took me a little while to learn, and I wish I learned in the beginning. And police is on. Oops. So, yes, police is on. Okay. That's useful to know. And I've drove through the red light, but. Yeah. So, police is on, but my speed limiter is off, so I can get them for speeding. That's the story of this game, though, isn't it? It's been caught for speeding, to be honest. I love how. It, SES finally fixed the issue with uh, AI trucks as well. It's great. AI trucks used to be um, almost like on rails. They drive at crazy speeds, stop on a dime, to quote how Americans would say it, and then pull away like a rocket ship. No problems. And that's the green light, so I need to get over to this right hand lane. If I can, can I get over? Yes, I can. Because here is my delivery spot. I think this is it. Yeah. Time to deliver these Christmas presents. So, if what I can do is go all over here. There's a lot of people trying to do this as offside. What I'll do is go around and spin myself around. And try and set myself up so this is a near side reverse. Makes life a hell of a lot easier. I should take a couple of attempts now to park. I've said that. Ah, first time in. Nice. So I've leveled up, which is nice. Yes, admittedly I slightly cheated because I did kind of use an auto load to bypass a problem. Uh, what's that? Driver's own equipment needed. Need money, we can help. Right here, you've already been offered your first bank load. They'll offer you 100,000 euros. Ignore it. It's very, very easy to want to take it. Is it 100,000? Yeah, 100,000 euros. It's very easy to take that at that moment. No. Avoid it. Okay, try and just do a couple more quick jobs, unless you get really sick of the quick jobs. Do a few more. You will not regret it. Uh, let's take this man truck. Because one of the things as well, that I kind of see about this stage, Try and get a different truck every time. Different manufacturer, different model. Then when it comes to you buying a truck, you'll know what you want. So, so far I've driven a Renault. A <laughs> Scania. Uh, and now I'm about to drive a Man. Or oh, M-A-N. I already know, because I've played it before many a time, that I prefer Scania's. Second is Man. Uh, third, Daff. Um, but this way, you'll you'll get a chance to figure out what exactly you like and want to own. Because there's nothing worse than drive, buying a truck in the game and then not liking it, and then sell it for a loss. It's not worth it. Only problems with man's. How slow that indicator sound is. Okay, to pull it out, and it is. Get myself back over to the lane quickly. And here we go. To my next journey. So, yeah, try and take a different truck every time. Find out what you like, what you don't like. You won't regret it. So, yes. I'm just wondering how long this takes. So, it's taking about 20 minutes ish. Well, yeah, about 20 minutes ish to do the first journey. 
This journey should take 15, 20 minutes. So I'm looking at possibly about half hour, 40 minute episodes, which possibly seems about the right length. I mean, this is still early stages. Um, I don't know what kind of length may be too long an episode, what might be too short an episode, I don't know yet. Uh, people need to let me know that. If they like the idea of longer episodes, try and do like one journey an episode or something, let me know in the comments or message me or tweet me or whatever. Just let me know what you think. And I just realised it's getting dark. Time to put lights on. Even though it's not dark yet. I can still get away driving without lights, but I don't want to risk it flying the game. Now I've realised the police is on. Oops. Ooh, that was not good. I'm used to doing this, so I can just kind of display what I'm pulling in the video. It's not easy to do. For some reason. So this is an MAN 4x2, uh, not sure what size engine this has, to be honest. I don't feel too bad in an engine. Quite like the MAN, MAN trucks. Literally the only problem I have with them is that how slow that indicator sound is. Oh, it's dreadful. It is dreadful. It's my only issue with them. Otherwise, I think they're a handsome looking truck, to be honest. Um, if I get myself on a straight. Yeah, it's a handsome looking truck. And they look nice and black. Jet black is a gorgeous truck. So. If you can put it with the slow indicator door, get yourself a man. This is your first truck. They're not too expensive in the game as well. I did have somewhere, and I might put a link in the video description, uh, somewhere I had um, uh, a spreadsheet that I made. Um, I really should finish it, but it was taking a lot of work to do, admittedly. Where I listed out basically all the trucks and all their prices uh, by brand, um, including like engine size modifications, wheelbase, architecture, blah 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 blah. blah. And it, it took me hours, <laughs> I mean hours to work it all out. But I did work it out one day. And it, but I say it's not completely finished. But I might supply a link to it. I can find it. I think it's in a Google Doc actually. Um, just because people get asking, well, what price is what truck? How much is it for this? How much is it for that? So I just thought one day, fuck it, let's actually make a spreadsheet listing out prices. People might find it useful. And apparently they did, because people did use it and shared it. It was cool. So yeah. Well, how far have we got? We've still got four hours of game time to go. Reasonable drive, this one. Thing is, these drives later on in the game, you're gonna remember these drives and think, God, oh, that was a really, really short drive. Whereas at the moment, it just feels so long because you're not used to it. Late, at late game, when you're doing 36 hour in game time journeys, you were there going, Oh, God, that, that five hour journey at the beginning of the game, that was so small. <laughs> Sometimes you wish it was this small a journey, but you know when it's like a hundred thousand euro job, you kind of have to pull the mileage to do it. And just ease enough. I'm not using my brakes at this moment. I'm just letting it, the weight of the truck slow me down right a second. And there is a gap. 
could in theory go for the overtake. That's, it's on a crest of hill, which is not the best of ideas. To be honest, overtakes on a crest is mm, sketchy. Let's put it that way. Can be sketchy. Shall I go for it? Shall I not? Shall I go for it? Shall I not? Uh, hmm. Fuck it. I'm going for it. Okay, nice clear road for me to have to do that on. It's all good. I'm driving, I'm driving to the Netherlands, aren't I? I think I'm driving to Rotterdam. Oh, that's what I want. Uh, yeah, I'm driving to Rotterdam. So it's going to be a reasonable distance. Discovering a reasonable part of the map. Amount of the map, should I say. Let me just uh, get the itch of my ear then. And I am kind of speeding down these roads immediately. But there's no sign of a speed camera yet. Slow down a little bit for this curve in the road because it's on a crest, which is uh, sketchy. Best of times. Let's go around here. I'm about to join another motorway box things, which is nice. Or is it? Yes, yeah, an A road basically. Oh, it's down onto it. I thought I'd have to go up on it. Interesting. Let's go down onto this A road. I'll get ready to go down on this A road. Oh, these are the ones with the really nasty turning. So you have to leave it as late as you can. Try and avoid. There we go. That street sign and lamppost. You amaze how often you can get caught out by that street, that lamppost. And sometimes it does crazy damage to your trailer. You know, you barely touch it and it just falls over. You suddenly find your trailer's there at like 80% damage. Well, not that much. Yeah, but it's like a 20% damage. I've seen before, didn't we? 20, 22% damage. Just from clipping one of those lampposts. It's like, well, what the hell was it made of? Yeah, C4. <laughs> but no, apparently it was enough to damage one of my trucks previously, which is bad, very bad. Let's keep going. I really just look into that music like I was thinking about. Look into like OC Remix or something. Um, don't know if anyone wants to give us any suggestions. If you have, thank you. Like I said, I'm kind of pre-recorded this straight after the first episode, so I don't know if anyone's actually said anything about it. But anyway. If you have, thank you. If you haven't, then why haven't you? But I'll be looking for some basically royalty-free music that I can use to play in the background. Just to... Because sometimes my voice and just hearing this engine drone away can be boring. Admittedly. Um, I have contemplated live streaming these. Diff thing is... Live streaming... Um, I stream at 720p, 30 frames a second, uh, at 2500 kilobits a second, because uh, I am not uh, Twitch partnered yet, hopefully it will be someday, so therefore I can't do adjustable stream qualities. Um, I am recording this video for YouTube at full 1080 uh, 60 uh, at 3500 kilobits a second so it's a much higher quality now if I did this just from streaming obviously you can imagine it's only going to be 720p at 30 frames a second which would you rather prefer? yeah like me I'd rather see the te full 1080 60 if possible now I know YouTube technically supports 1080 60 uh, I haven't actually seen it yet. Well, I don't know how to correctly encode for it, should I say. Oh, here goes the rain. 
Uh, but if I can figure out the correct way to code so it works nicely, then I will, basically. And here comes the rain. And we're going to wipe us on, which already done. I don't know why I said that twice, but I'm losing the plot. <coughs> and I'm only about an hour away. Oh, just over an hour and 20 minutes in game time to this drop off. Making a fair hold in speed. Ooh, this is getting a bit unstable because I'm going a bit quick for the uh, chassis that I've got on this truck with this load. Normally I wouldn't do this in a 4x2, this kind of drive, driving. But yeah, how far can I, can I see? Uh, see, the problem I haven't got light bars because this isn't my own truck yet. Normally I'll kit out with light bars and full spotlights and stuff like that so I can actually see a reasonable distance uh, on the full beams. Obviously on these borrowed trucks you don't get that. It's a bit annoying. Very annoying in fact. I just realised I have to go to 50 zone. There's probably cameras around. Usually it's near the cities. So just be wary of that. Cruise control for minutes and I'm going to change lane. One of the acts of this game is to learn the best you can where all the speed cameras are. Or just the common locations for speed cameras. Save yourself a little in fights. Oh, yes, it will. But yeah. So, not too far. Hopefully doing his delivery, which is nice. Only 15 minutes in game time. And I'm guessing right, this is going to be possibly about a 40 minute episode. Hmm. Doesn't seem an unreasonable gameplay time video length. Even though it's me finding topics of what to talk about for 40 minutes. Be easy when Top Gear's back, because I'll just talk about Top Gear for an hour, quite happily. <laughs> but at the moment, I was going to put with Top Gear Christmas specials. But I'll talk random crap as well as obviously giving tips in what to do with the game. Oh, camera warning. The rain is so pretty in this game. Oh, God, I keep saying the whole game is so pretty. It, it's, it's not like next gen graphics, but technically, this is an indie developer. Technically, SCS is an indie developer. But they're producing a game of this caliber. It's just mind boggling. Absolutely mind boggling. Um, I mean, I don't know how many people they have worked for them. Um, I imagine it's a reasonable sized team. Uh, in Prague, which is where I think they, if I'm correct, their head office is. Um, so yeah, it's just amazing, it's stunning what they got out of this. I mean, it, you only have to look at uh, the Steam reviews for the game, and basically they're just through the roof. You know, most games get all positive, fairly positive. This is overwhelmingly positive on Steam reviews. You know, this went for Steam Greenlight system, which, you know, in theory, only the cream should come to the top with the Steam Greenlight. And this is one of the few times Steam Greenlight worked and did its job properly. A very, very, very good game got on Steam, and it's been a success story. You know, the fact that they're willing. Steam every sale period always puts this game in the lineup because people will always buy it. You know, sometimes you get the feel of thought of why don't you already own it? But yeah, people are weird like that. Ooh, that was close. So very close to this drop off. Controlled by AI a little bit. I, c 
probably could have done that turn, to be honest. But it's just for the sake of blocking the road for a few seconds, it was not, really was not worth risking it. You know, risking some damage to the truck or to the trailer. Okay, this turning is what we want. Take in tractors. Okay, tractors, remember correctly? Yeah, into the middle of a town. Which seems odd. Yeah, I know they could technically go into a courier company, transit net. It's really bad today. But still. It just seems odd. Oops. Really cocked up that turn then. It's going to be some damage. 1% to the trailer. 6% to the truck. It's 6% damage to the truck I can deal with. 1% to the trailer. Shouldn't hurt me too badly. Ah, oh, this is going to be a nasty turning. difficult turning just because there's two trailers flanking the spot. Straight up. Left a bit. And then straight up again. A little bit. There we go. And you got good work for that. Lost what, 279 euros and 28 XP for that dink at the end there. That's a bit of a bummer. But anyway. There we go. Billy Bob Trucking now has 20,000 euros to their name. Go on, Billy Bob. He really does look like a Billy Bob, doesn't he? At least I think he does. But anyway, that's it for that ep this episode, episode 2. Uh, I don't intend to keep quoting episode numbers because no doubt I will probably forget what episode number I'm on at some point. But yes, I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you next time. See ya.